With the first pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Anthony Edwards from the University of Georgia. So Anthony Edwards with his mother and grandmother with him there in spirit. He knows which hat he can take out of that big box now, and it is the one that belongs to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Able to share the moment virtually with Commissioner Adam Silver. Anthony Edwards comes from Atlanta, Georgia. When he was just three years old, his dad started calling him Ant-Man, and it really started to stick. But he wasn't always destined to become a basketball player because the Pop Warner Pee Wee League for the Atlanta Vikings, he was running roughshod away from people. How in the world did Kirby Smart let him go play basketball? Look at that big fella get into the end zone. But he starred on the basketball court in high school. He became Georgia's biggest recruit since Dominique Wilkins, the human highlight film. In this past season for Tom Green's Bulldogs, he led all Division I freshmen in scoring. He was the SEC Freshman of the Year, the vertical leap is over 40. He is a huge and explosive talent. Anthony Edwards fondly recalls those days growing up in Atlanta and the impact that both his mother and his grandmother had on him, whether it was taking him to Steak and Shake or his mom rewarding him for good games with Snickers and Skittles. Those memories are things that he will cherish forever. My mom was smiling, always happy. Nobody could ever make her mad. She always worked hard for her kids. My grandma kept everything together. When we uh, didn't have a place to stay, she uh, let us come stay with her. I knew my mom and my grandma had cancer. My mom was in a lot of pain a lot of times, but she wouldn't show it. She would just go to the hospital and just sit there for a couple of days. And my grandmother uh, had been battling it for like four to five years. When my mom passed, I was 14 years old. And then probably like a couple months, like right after that, my grandma, she passed away. So it was terrible for our whole family. Everything I do, I wish they was here to see it. But my angels, my mom and my grandmother, they keep me uplifted. They wake me up every day with a smile on my face. I just keep going for them. What a powerful story. And Anthony, with those two women that are behind you literally and figuratively in mind, with their legacies in mind, you've said that being the number one pick would be exceptionally cool. Here we are. How does it feel? I mean, it's an indescribable feeling. I mean, I can't even describe it. Uh, my family is emotional. I feel like when I get over here, I'm going to get emotional, and I'm just blessed to be on measures to be in this situation. Mm. And you said that your mother and grandmother have built you to be who you are, and you wouldn't be who you are today without them. How are you honoring their legacy today? Um, as you can see, uh, my, grandmother's, my grandmother's right here, and my mother is right here. And the shirt that, uh, with the collaboration I had, I got my grandmother's name and my mother's name in my shirt. So they're with me at all times. Absolutely. This is a really special day for your family. We are wishing you all the best. Congratulations. I know this looks different, but happy number one pick. Reese, back to you.